Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Today I want to talk to you about another uh, man of God, a committed Christian, whose, whose curiosity about God's great creation led him to make one of the most important scientific discoveries uh, in history. And his name was Louis Pasteur. He was a, a committed Catholic Christian, and he famously said this, the more I study nature, the more I stand amazed at the work of the Creator. So Louis Pasteur, he was just fascinated by God's creation. And he said, God is a God of order. He's created a world that has a plan and an order to it. Therefore, we can discover how it works. That basic underlying assumption based in his view of God was what underpinned his scientific research. And he began to tackle problems. Being called Pasteur, you've probably already guessed, pasteurization. And we would know that word because if you look at a carton of milk that you buy from the supermarket, it says it is pasteurized. Well, actually, being a Frenchman, uh, Louis Pasteur wasn't so much concerned about milk to start off with as he was about wine, about why wine went sour as it grew older. And so uh, he discovered a process that if you took beer or wine and you heated it up to about 60 degrees for a short period of time, it destroyed, it actually destroyed the microbes in it and it wouldn't go off as it got older. And much later on, this was also applied to milk as well. And so we have our word today. It's on every carton of milk on every supermarket shelf, pasteurized. Um, but however, Louis Pasteur did much more research into God's creation, into microorganisms such as germs and bacteria and, and viruses. You see, at that time, these things, people knew they existed, but they thought they just appeared in sick people almost like magically by spontaneous generation. But as a Christian, Pasteur knew that that wasn't possible. He knew that God was the only creator, that things don't just spring into being miraculously, uh, magically by themselves unless God creates them. And he says, well, God created the world and then life gives life to life, biogenesis, as it's called. And so he was convinced that he could prove, if only he could show people that these microbes, these uh, mic microorganisms, that they were coming from somewhere. Well, he designed a swan-necked flask that he could put soup in. And the shape of the swan neck, it was basically almost like the U-bend in a toilet, would trap all the microorganisms and the soup would would not go off. It, it, it wouldn't go moldy. But then if he tipped the flask up a little bit so that the microorganisms could get from the neck into the soup, then it would begin to spoil and to go off. And as a result of these experiments, Pasteur proved the existence of germs and that it was germs that were passing on and, and viruses and these microbes were passing on disease from one person to another. And in fact, up until this time, whenever people sneezed or coughed, they never covered their mouths because they didn't imagine that they could make other people sick. And that's why we've developed the habit that any normal person does today. Whenever they sneeze or cough, they cover their mouth. In fact, that's the very same principle behind uh, face coverings and masks during a pandemic. Uh, the reason is, of course, that they might not stop everything, but the more, whether it's putting your hand over your mouth or wearing a mask or whatever it is, the more you do that, the less chance there is of a sick person making somebody else sick. You know, I, I be honest with you, I don't enjoy wearing a mask. I've never wanted to be, and as a child, I never wanted to be the Lone Ranger, and I don't like wearing a mask, but I recognize that I have to do it. I have to do it because it's legal, uh, but I also do it because I, I don't want to be part of passing on sickness to somebody else. So even though I don't like putting on a mask, uh, every time I put one on, I pause and I thank God for men like Louis Pasteur, 
uh, Christian believers whose faith in God and his orderly creation enable them to make some of the most important scientific uh, breakthroughs in history. Uh, today, we give thanks for that and for that contribution of Louis Pasteur. And please join us again tomorrow for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drada.